Hi, this is Eric from MyHomeServer.com and we're doing a video review, our first video review, of the Linksys WVC210 camera. This is a pan, tilt, and zoom camera. Um, the latest by Linksys, for de primarily designed for business, but we think uh, you might like this also in your home, next to your home server like it is ours. It, uh, is a wireless G pan tilt zoom camera. It comes with a fancy desktop stand so you can uh, sit it down like that. And of course it is wireless. It also has the option to wall mount with uh, two screws in the back. And uh, another cool thing about it, you can also use it via um, Ethernet, but it also has speakers um, and a microphone jack. And it'll actually allow you to uh, to talk out and uh, listen. It also has a built-in microphone if you prefer just to use that. But it's a very cool little camera, and it retails for around $300. And I'm going to slide it back here into the stand and show you a couple things. Take you for a little tour of the camera. Here's the camera in action. As you can see, the LEDs are lit up. Those are activity LEDs. And there's a front LCD there, and you can see that there's the IP address on the front. It's got a protective dome over the front of it. That's to protect the pan, tilt, and zoom housing there. And of course, like I said, it's wireless, so you can pretty much put it anywhere within uh, range of your wireless G network. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to access the camera remotely. And what we've done is we've set up a domain name with TZO. And here is the domain we have all set up. And we're going to go in with our browser. So this is what you would do if you were on the road or if you were at work and you wanted to log in remotely and view your home and what we'll do now is just click on over here to view video let me zoom that in a little bit more and what we'll do is click view video and this is using Internet Explorer so now you can see the camera is pointed over at the plant here just near my laptop and the cool thing about it is uh, when you're in Internet Explorer you can actually move the camera as I said it's a pan tilt and zoom camera not only can you move it but you've also got some options where you can turn on and off the the microphone so you or you can hear all the uh, whatever's going on around in the environment of the camera but you can also like I said move it around and uh, I'll show you an example of that here in just a second let me just zoom out so what I'm doing is I'm using the mouse and I'm gonna go over to you know let's just move it up this way a little bit click that button you can see as the as I click that the camera will actually move and rotate so I'll click move it this way and you can see it's moving over and I'll move it over to where I am using the tripod with my remote mouse here so there I am as you can see it's it's kinda cool and having a camera like this allows you to you know save on expenses from buying two or three cameras that only cover you know certain fixed viewing angles this thing will actually allow you to move it around and it definitely will save you money in the long run also with the integrated speaker you could um, use it possibly as a doorway camera and just op turn on your uh, your browser and you can actually speak through uh, speak through that if you have a microphone on your um, computer so it's kind of a cool thing and one another neat thing I wanted to show you is the option for the pan and tilt to do presets. As you can see, there's presets down there, and those presets will allow you to, you know, set certain locations. So, you know, you can set the front door, um, see if the beagle's stealing food, um, set it to the TV, 
couches, the front window, you know, so you can actually name these custom areas um, such as garage, driveway, front door, etc. And you can actually go to these presets real quick and it will, the camera will automatically pan over to that area. So it's kind of a neat option um, and definitely something that's, that's very affordable and it's a, you know, a really great way to protect your home. One nice uh, thing we like about it is we're going to go through here and show you a couple of the uh, the setup features. And here's the main screen where you can basically set the IP address and you can um, also enable and disable the LCD and the LED so you don't have those flashing lights on the front. If you're going to have this outside um, it won't be quite as uh, visible to burglars or trespassers. So here's the option screen. You've got you know base, the basic setup as I said the IP address and a few other options there. Uh, audio and video. You can do maintenance and upgrade the firmware. You've got a users list. Um, dynamic DNS which is what we use to remotely control the camera. Um, and that's with TZO.com. There's also mail and FTP options and that's for motion sensitivity. Motion detection, pan tilt, and of course you get a status screen to tell you the status of the camera. And what we're going to do now is go into a couple of the other options here. And this here is the video settings and you can see we uh, we like to use the mobile streaming from our cell phone and actually can log in to the camera and see motion video with that and we'll show you that in another video here in the future and some other neat things are the user database so you can see you can add multiple users and that allows you to uh, pretty much have different settings for different users as you can see, you can uh, have a certain uh, certain users can get into the setup as well as pan and tilt. So some users can move the camera, some can't. It's all up to uh, what you want to do. So here's a dynamic DNS, and like I said, we've selected TZO. And what this camera does is this actually detects the IP address um, of your router or your network, and it broadcasts that to um, TZO when it changes and it updates the IP address with this domain name here as you can see host name is myname.mylinksiscamera.com so that allows us to go on vacation and we basically can use that domain name no matter how often our IP address might change And here's some of the pan, and uh, this is actually the motion detection area. And what this will do is when the camera detects motion, it'll email and send FTPs. So you can have it enable motion detection um, in all positions for pan and tilt. So there's a couple areas there. You can also set the areas and sensitivity. And that allows you to just basically draw a box around a certain area in the yard that the camera is looking at um, or office. And it will watch that specific area just in case maybe you have a plant or something outside of that that's um, in the wind or whatever that won't set it off. So here's what I said about earlier about the pan and tilt. Here's how you can set certain areas. You can calibrate the camera, um, set certain positions. So it's pretty cool. And what it offers you is a, a really uh, low cost camera and it does, does quite a few things. So we think you'll definitely like it. You can pick it up uh, at Amazon.com or a um, bunch of the major retailers online.